Although space may be considered the final frontier of exploration, what lies beneath the ocean's surface is just as mysterious. These 10 creatures found under the sea are just a few examples of the wonder of nature. 10 Most Mysterious Sea Creatures Number 10. The Lizardfish In June 2017, scientists abroad a research vessel found the world's deepest living predator. The terrifying lizardfish has a long, eel-like body, the face of a lizard, and a mouth filled with sharp teeth. Discovered off the coast of eastern Australia, this creature is built for hunting with a mouth largely made up of hinged teeth. Once it bites its prey, there's no escape. The more its victim struggles, the farther it goes into the fish's mouth. Known by its scientific name of Bathosaurus ferox, which means fierce deep sea lizard, its common name comes from its lizard-like face. Like other lizard fish, it lives from 1,000 to 2,500 meters under the water's surface on the ocean floor where it buries itself in sediment and hides in order to stalk its prey. Some aquariums have tried to put these type of lizard fish in viewing tanks with other fish, but they are said to eat everything in there. While their looks alone may make them very unappealing, their meat is also said to be very mushy, which means they are not only unappetizing to look at, but also to eat. Not really sure why anyone would try to eat it though. Measuring about 50 centimeters or 20 inches long, researchers still do not know if this type of lizardfish is fluorescent like other types of lizardfish, and because they live so deep in the ocean, there is still so much more that can be learned about this mysterious species of fish. Number 9. 300 Tooth Frill Shark Another rare, deep water dweller is the frill shark. Resembling a snake, fishermen off the coast of Portugal discovered this gruesome creature a few years ago and promptly handed it over to a research vessel of scientists so they could study it. With roughly 303 pointed teeth, the shark gets its name from the way its teeth are arranged in a strange frill-like pattern. The teeth look like backwards needles and the fish's hinged jaw can snatch prey more than half its size. Most measure approximately 5 feet long, but even more remarkable is the fact that these sharks have been around for 80 million years, making them a virtual living fossil. With an incredibly long gestation period that lasts between 1 and 2 years, pups of the frilled shark can measure up to 2 feet and are sometimes born in litters from 2 to 15 pups. This species of shark lives in both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, usually near the outer continental shelves and the bases of islands. Although you might not like the look of these sharks, there are safeguards in place to protect them. In 2007, the European Union Fisheries Council established a zero total allowable catch limitation for the vulnerable sharks. The frilled shark was added to this list in 2010, so although you may be particularly squeamish about the look of these sharks, they are, in fact, being protected as one of the wonders of the deep. Number 8. Blue Dragon Sea Slugs in early 2018, strange alien-like creatures started washing up on Sydney beaches. Known as blue dragon sea slugs, or Glacus atlanticus, these strange creatures may look completely out of this world, but they are very real and are said to have quite a sting. A species of nudibranch sea slug found in tropical and temperate oceans, these slugs usually lurk on the ocean floor. They also hang upside down underwater, which allows them to be carried by ocean currents, which is why they sometimes wash ashore. Known to feed on Portuguese man-o-war or blue bottles, the sea slug absorbs the stinging cells and stores them in their own tissue to use against predators. It may seem that such a small creature wouldn't be able to pose much of a risk, but the stinging cells become concentrated in one area, which makes this outworldly sea creature a risk to anyone who touches them. Number 7. Pink See-Through Fantasia Another unique underwater find is the Pink See-Through Fantasia, a type of sea cucumber that was discovered in 2007. No, not that kind of cucumber. Like other bioluminescent creatures, these sea cucumbers emit light. When they're in danger, they use that light to alarm potential predators, but that is not the most fascinating thing about this creature. The name, pink see-through, comes from the fact that all of the creature's internal organs, including its mouth and intestines, are visible from the outside, due to its outer skin that is astonishingly translucent, similar to a jellyfish. Much is still undetermined about these creatures, but scientists believe that most are about 11 to 25 centimeters in length, or from 4 to 10 inches. They were discovered at the depth of roughly 8,200 feet by the experts of the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, the National Geographic Society, and the WHOI, Ocean Life Institute, 
who are working together on a research expedition in remote areas of the Western Pacific Ocean. Number six, fanfin angler. The fanfin anglerfish is a rounded fish named for its spiny growths that run along its spine. Found in waters around the world, they are native to the New South Wales coast and Australian waters south of Norfolk Island. One of the most fascinating features of the fanfin is the fleshy growth called the esca that sits at the top of its spine. The fish can move this growth in multiple directions, wiggling it and its branched filaments as a way to attract predators close enough so they can catch them. Another interesting fact is that once a male finds its female, it bites her to stay attached. Aww. The skin of the male fuses with the females, in turn making him a parasite that shares the same bloodstream with her. Ew. Making this process a little easier is the fact that the male and female of the species differ greatly in size, with the females growing to 20 centimeters and the males to a mere 1.6 centimeters. Number five, paper nautilus. The paper nautilus comes from a family of octopus-like cephalopods that live in the subtropics and tropics. Also known as the argonaut, this mollusk has a special shell that is only built by the females of the species and is used as a case to protect the argonaut's eggs. To guard her eggs, which are attached to long threads and placed inside, the female argonaut lives in the entryway of the shell until they hatch. Like other octopi, the argonaut has eight tentacles. At the end of the first tentacle pair, the argonaut has wide sail-like flaps, which the female either holds over the shell or sometimes uses to catch the prey. Much smaller than the female, the male measures less than two centimeters in size. They have an altered third tentacle used for reproduction that is kept in its pouch until it is needed. Females measure up to about 10 centimeters, with the shell being four to five centimeters large. Because no argonaut has ever been found with the third tentacle having grown back, it is believed that the males die after mating. Living argonauts are a rare find, possibly because they do live so deep in the ocean. More often than not, their shells wash ashore, making the paper nautilus as fantastic as a find as their name suggests. Number four, Dumbo octopus. While most of the species we've been talking about have been particularly unattractive and predatorial, the Dumbo octopus is quite different. Noted for their fins that resemble the ears of Dumbo the elephant, there are at least 15 species of Dumbo octopuses. A type of umbrella octopus, their arms are connected by a web of skin that make them look like umbrellas when their arms are spread out. The species moves by slowly flapping their ear-like fins while foraging for food above the seafloor. Their primary predators are diving fish and marine mammals, including tunas, sharks, and dolphins. Living in the deep ocean down to at least 13,100 feet, they are the deepest living of all non-octopuses. This preference for extreme depths means that they are very rarely captured in fishing nets and not particularly threatened by human activities. They also do not have an ink sac because they rarely encounter predators in the deep ocean. Living at these depths with the complete absence of sunlight requires the Dumbo octopus to be naturally aware. They have learned to adapt to their environment by taking on specialized behaviors that increase the likelihood that they can reproduce at any time they find a mate. Although they spent most of their life suspended above the seafloor, they lay their eggs on the bottom by attaching them to rocks or other hard surfaces. All of these unique features make this species of deep sea umbrella octopuses one of nature's rare finds. Number three, Christmas tree worm. One type of marine worm found on tropical coral reefs around the world is the Christmas tree worm whose name comes from the spiral-like appearance unique to this species. Each worm has two brightly colored crowns on its tube-like body. Radial holes, or hair-like appendages, that radiate from this worm's central spine are used for breathing and eating. A sedentary creature, the worms don't move around much, and once they find a place they like, they anchor themselves to it by burrowing holes into the live coral. When they are startled, they retract into the burrows as a way to hide from predators. Most measure only about one and a half inches, but what they lack in size, they make up for in their bright colors and distinctive shape, making them some of the most recognizable and beautiful segmented worms in nature. Number two, Yeti Crab. Residing in the South Pacific Ocean, the Yeti Crab is a stunning example of nature at its finest. The official name, the Kiwa, comes from the Polynesian goddess of shellfish. One of the most fascinating things about the crab is very obvious upon first sight. Their name comes from the hairy and bristly appearance that makes them look like the legendary snow monster, the Yeti. Other nicknames of theirs are the Yeti Crab or Furry Lobster. Living at such a depth make it a treacherous life for the Yeti because of the extreme cold temperatures. 
but the crab finds warmer hydrothermal vents to stay warm and survive. While their hairy arms may be the most well-known trait, they are also useful for capturing food. Bacteria, their primary source of food, lives and grows in the hair or the arms. To encourage growth, the crabs have been observed waving their arms back and forth in hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor. The hair also seems to help them sense food. Because they live so deep, they have no color, making the crab look white. They also have not needed to fully develop their eyes, so they are virtually blind. First discovered by a group of scientists in 2005 off Easter Island, a second species of the Yeti crab was discovered in 2006. Four more were discovered after that, with the fifth being discovered in 2013, proving that there are always remarkable discoveries to be made if we look far and deep enough. Number one, sea cucumber. In September 2019, scientists in Antarctica made a stunning discovery 3,500 meters below the ice. A rare sea cucumber was found when an Antarctic expedition set off on a 50-day journey across the Southern Ocean. And again, different kind of cucumber. A research vessel from New Zealand, carrying an international team with state-of-the-art technology, scanned the seabed to capture fascinating images. Attempting to delve 3,500 meters into the abyss, the team sent out a fishing net to get a closer look at some of the marine life below them. After six hours of waiting, 12 buckets of mud and one single fish were brought up. Although the find seemed a little underwhelming at first, the team did a little digging and unearthed something quite unexpected. A curious and gelatinous looking white creature with teeth, jaws, gills, and vertebrae was discovered and the find initially baffled scientists. Further study would be needed to determine the origin of this new species, but until then, scientists were not only stunned, but excited by their curious find.